everybody assumed at the beginning of the year you guys were going to maybe struggle a little bit on offense but be this great defensive team. Uh, slow start defensively, but when you guys are defending now as well as you are, what's going right for you? Uh, I think everybody just trusting in the game plan. It's just trust, trust, trust in the coaches, trust in the players. You know, it's a different scheme for everybody defensively. Most of us haven't guarded the way that we are now. It's a little bit, you know, it's pretty aggressive. And, you know, we're doing that. We're getting our hands in passing lanes and rebounding really well. Nick, when you look at the success that you guys have had in these last couple of games, I know the guys said now it's time to take care of the road. What do you guys want to establish with game number one as on the road? I mean, this is a really good road trip. Um, it's it's going to be a really, really good test for us. You know, we play some of the, the top teams in the West. Um, starting here tonight, um, you know, Sacramento, they play extremely fast. They're really talented offensively. So, you know, we got to come out and really just be sharp, execute the game plan and, and be ready to go. How has Harry kind of helped you guys just with that physicality inside when you guys are practicing against him and just he brings that just extra strength down low? Yeah, I mean, just his, his energy is infectious for the group. Um, and, you know, he can also play. You saw him, he got out there and did his thing last game. Um, it's, it's just good to see a guy like him with, um, he's just pure. You know, his, his energy is pure. He's just a, a real solid guy. And then, you know, he can also get out there and do his thing. We saw a couple of phrases, or I guess the mottos of this team has been the radical truth. We saw on the bridge that came out yesterday about everyone getting better. How have you guys leaned into that, and how has that helped you guys throughout this season? Just accountability, accountability from top to bottom. JV um, um, and the staff, they do a really good job of just being open and just like opening up, you know, seeing what every, all the players are thinking and we all take that into account and, you know, we come together for a game plan. If so, if it's things that aren't working, um, players don't feel shy about voicing their opinions. Other than obviously playing a little bit more drop than you had last year, I mean, what else is different defensively? I mean, you talked about being a little bit more aggressive in the passing lanes. I mean, what are some of the other differences? Yeah, I mean, definitely the drop. And then as far as just pulling over more, helping more, protecting, really, really just focusing on protecting the paint um, and, and trusting your teammates to have to have your back, which is, you know, more so on the guards. And they're also, you know, helping me um, tagging the bigs on pick and rolls. With tonight's matchup, when it comes to Sabonis, just kind of what's the challenge of facing him tonight? Just extremely physical, knows how to draw fouls, um, really good rebounding, good at starting the break. So definitely a tough cover, but um, you know I'm ready for it. With you guys having such a, a great start shooting the ball, how much does that affect you with being able to have so much open space, you know, to get to the rim when you have guys who are just ready to fire in case they're on the perimeter. It makes it easier for me, and I think I also make their lives easier as well. Just just me getting in and out of screens fast, putting constant pressure on the rim in transition or pick and roll, and then just knowing that we have guys that are ready to just fire up those threes is definitely good. Is it different maybe in past years? Because obviously you guys had Katie and Kyrie who were just easy to get their shots, but with the depth of shooters on this team, is this the most depth of shooters you've been around since you've been here? Ooh, that's tough. I mean, you know, we've had some groups where guys are really hitting Joe, Patty, where guys were, you know, in the 40s really knocking down shots. But, I mean, it's just that's our game plan now. You know, we just we shooting a lot of threes, and, and that's really the, the big point of emphasis for us now. I guess how is it maybe different, now that you mentioned guys like Joe and Patty, but how is this group different with just the depth of shooters? I mean, like in the past, you know, it was different with the KD and the Kyrie. Um, you know, they can generate a bucket whenever. Um, now, you know, we're relying more on the three-point shooting. So, I mean, for me, it doesn't change a whole lot for my job. I'm kind of doing a lot of the same thing, but I'm just trying to do the best job as I can, especially on the offensive glass, knowing that we'll be putting up a lot of, a lot of threes.